Yo, what's up everyone? Thanks for coming by. Thanks for watching. Um, here in this video, as you can see, I'm starting to label uh, my layers. We're going to start doing uh, highlights, shadings, and the kind of tools and, and tricks that I use uh, to make those happen. So with with my shading, I like to set my uh, my opacity at um, 65% and my flow at 65%. That way I can kind of gradually increase um, how bright or how dark I want something. And uh, wheels specifically, um, I like to set my eraser at 100% opacity and flow. That way I can kind of um, erase the highlight in one shot instead of having to go over and over and over again. But really the only time I do that and set my eraser to 100 is uh, really mainly for the wheels. And then once I start working on the chrome and stuff like that, then I drop back the opacity and the flow of the eraser back to 65%. And again, I've got um, the photo of the, of the actual truck set up on my second monitor. So I'm just kind of looking back and forth and seeing where I need to add uh, my highlights and my shading. So now this is a part of the Chrome. Um, I'm using a tablet for this um, to gradually kind of add like the look of the shading and, and the reflection and stuff like that. Again, the opacity is at 65, the flow is at 65. And now this these uh, bits here that I'm erasing, the eraser is also set at 65. And then I'm just kind of just gradually going over it with the brush and the eraser until I just get the look that I'm going for. And again, I'm just I'm just using my uh, my layer with all my lines, and then I'm using the wand tool to um, manu manually select all these spaces, and then using the brush tool to uh, go back in here and start adding my detail. And for these bits here, um, I like to kind of just, the majority of it is already filled with shading. So I kind of go back and start cutting in with my eraser to uh, bring out some of that detail. And here I'm using the, the brush tool to kind of bring in that um, kind of chrome look to it that kind of hard line. Now I'm gonna cut back with my eraser. And again, I'm just kind of go, going over it, adding more shading, um, erasing more of it just to kind of until I, I get the look that I'm going for.
same thing here. Just going over it. The opacity is set at 65, the flow is set at 65, so I can kind of uh, gradually make any areas darker or lighter. And then just cutting back with the eraser to kind of bring in my highlights. And that's all. that was all on the shading uh, layer. And when I'm when I'm erasing, I'm also erasing from the shading layer. I'm not I'm not adding anything. Um, I'm not adding any highlights in the actual highlight layer. I'm erasing from the shading layer. So here, to kind of get that hard line of shading and detail, I'm using the pen tool to make a shape here. <clears throat> and adjusting the anchors to kind of get the look that I'm going for. Now I'm gonna go into my paths and I'm gonna subtract from that selection. Now I'm gonna go to my channels, make a new spot channel. So now that is always saved in there whenever I needed to go back to it and adjust it. So now that that area is saved, I can go in and start adding any shading and highlights that I want. You see how it kind of gives it that hard, that hard line, that hard contrast without actually having a hard black line there. Now I'm going to be using the pen tool again to uh, subtract from the subtract from the shape that I've already got going on, and kind of uh, build the shading coming from the headlight. So I'm going to adjust here until I got that shape. Go back into my paths, subtract from selection. I'm not going to save this one. And then I'm just going to start filling in. Now I know it's labeled gray, but it's just labeled like that from previous files. You don't, you can label it whatever you want. Um, I, I keep it there in the channels to um, add and subtract from shapes that I'm selecting. So I can give those hard contrasts of highlights and shadows without having a line actually there. You can kind of see already how how good that's looking once we start adding um, some of those details. There I'm using the lasso tool. That way I can kind of save some steps and just, if I gotta make a quick, a quick highlight, a quick shading, um, I don't always go to the pen tool. I use the lasso tool if there isn't a lot of curves. Um, or kind of difficult shapes involved. See, same thing here, just 
using the lasso tool to get rid of any bits that I don't need to keep adding shading to and then just going back over it with the brush tool. Now here again, um, when working on the Chrome, I like using uh, my tablet that has a, that's got a pin with it. That way I can kind of um, play around with the shading and, and kind of the reflections of the Chrome and stuff like that. And again, I'm just I'm just gonna keep going over it, um, adding shading, erasing some shading until I'm happy with it. Now this is just my uh, personal preference. I like to do mainly um, blacks when I'm working on the chrome and just kind of pull uh, grays and highlights from there. Um, you can use uh, blue like I've used before. Um, maybe here here soon in, in another one of my videos um, I'll use blue as a as a contrasting um, color here in the chrome so you guys can kind of see how um, I work it in and I like to I like to go in and um, where your blue where the blue in the chrome would usually be I like to go in and like this top part here I like to go in with the eraser and just kind of erase the edges of the shading so it'll, it kind of gives it a nice breakup re between um, all the other pieces of the truck. Now on this part here, I'm going to use the pen tool to kind of recreate the shape of the of the fender there, kind of reflecting in the chrome. So I'm going to subtract and get rid of the rest of the shape that I had selected and then go ahead and fill it in blue. So now it's kind of it's kind of like just a nice reflection. It the fender is being caught there in the chrome, just a nice detail.
And also, I forgot when I was editing the video, I forgot to, um, or I guess fast forwarding the video, I forgot to um, explain to you guys that I have I have uh, pre-built shapes like the 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 detail in the in the grill. Those kind of like um, I guess this is what it is the the grill. Um, I have it saved already, so. You'll see, it, it'll be fast forwarded, but you'll see later on in the video that I'm opening up Illustrator and um, pulling that file and then just kind of drag and dropping it, changing the color of it, ch um, adjusting the size, and I'm throwing it there in the grill to kind of um, quickly add that detail in. Now here we're gonna move on to the body, and uh, like what I talked about, I think in the in the video before this one, um, I like to use the gray sh shading. So I selected the the background, using it just kind of a, as a giant swatch, and I'm just gradually gonna use the gray um, instead of the black. That way it's not too heavy of a of a shading once we do go to print. So now again with the pencil, I'm just going to create the shape that I want to add shading to. Go back into my paths. You can save these, but um, as I did the first one in the channels, but as you start doing it so often, then um, it's kind of easy just to go back and and um, and edit them and redo them. So that one I used the, the lasso tool just to kind of make a straight line there and add some shading to. And again, it's all gray. It's all gray shading. None of this is black. I'm changing my eraser to 100. That way I can kind of make a hard um, highlight here. I'm gonna fill in the front of the uh, tanker here. Now this is back to black and it's on my shading layer. So this part here, um, I'm gonna fill in with uh, using my pencil. I'm jumping between the pencil on the tablet and the mouse, but these large pieces and more specifically like the Chrome, I like to use the tablet because it gives me more of like the freedom to kind of mess around with it until um, I get the look that I'm going for.
And again, now here I'm just taking the eraser and just cutting back in and, and adding highlights. starting to come together here. And now I'm gonna use the lasso tool to um, get the, uh, the, the reflection of the back fenders there in the tank. So all I'm doing is creating that shape and then I'm, I'm gonna um, cut away from the rest of what I have highlighted. So I just deleted it, deleted the shading that was in there entirely, and then um, I'm gonna go back with uh, the brush tool and add some more shading here. And again, using the lasso tool to um, add darker shades, darker shades of black, kind of give it some more shape, some more shape, some more depth. And I'm, I might be saying I might be saying that wrong. It might not be the lasso tool. I think that's the other one. I think the that tool with the straight lines and and points and stuff like that. I think that's the polygon tool. I'm not sure. So now here I'm gonna speed it up for you guys. Um, thanks again for watching. I hope you guys are um, learning a few tips and tricks. Uh, I hope. I'm a good teacher. Um, if there's anything else specific that I might have missed, I might not have covered or you want me to cover more of, uh, feel free to email me, shoot me a comment, uh, whatever's easier for you guys. So um, thanks again for watching. And again, I appreciate the love.